Hello folks, uh, this is Kiki, uh, coming back with, uh, let's play, uh, Super Mario Land, part 5. While well, out of irritation of just not finding out, of not figuring out who the, uh, the, uh, crow one that, uh, my friend was referring to, I decided to, uh, look her up. And I actually found out her name, and found out that there was some fan misconceptions about her. And, uh, her name, uh, was Aya Shimamaru, uh, and she is a, uh, reporter, known not really to fi make reports, but, uh, actually do opinion pieces based on people around, uh, what was the town again? Uh, Sinki, I believe it was. Uh, I'm, I'm looking up the wiki on it right now while I'm doing this. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Gensokyo. That's what they call it. So, uh... Anyway, supposedly uh, her name supposedly means that uh, Aya means text or sentence or literature. Uh, and uh, Shimamaru uh, supposedly literally means in this sequence to shoot an arrow or to, sh to shine into, onto, command, decree, order, or life, or hit target in the world, uh, meet you and circle, uh, with a common name ending, uh, but basically it just kind of means, uh, or basically the name, uh, Shimamaro is derived from Shamel, uh, Shemiru, or Shemaru, uh, like I said, I'm reading the Sofa Wiki, uh, which is text messages with photos, which is very appropriate for a fast traveling journalist who takes pictures, which is supposedly what she does. Uh, so, uh, so I think, I think I understand it right. Uh, she's a journalist who's known to uh, take a lot of annoying pictures and make uh, opinion pieces on people. Uh, and many fan-based people like to crack jokes that she makes perverted pictures or risque pictures when it could be true or it could be true, but who knows. Uh, but, uh, there you go. That, that's one mystery solved. Yeah, I feel good there. <laughs> and that one. Uh, while she does, while she doesn't have anything that applies directly to this particular game itself, it's just kind of just something I wanted to bring up because he's. She's one of uh, my friend's favorite Tao Hao characters, and I felt kind of bad that I couldn't find the name of that character for the past couple of videos now. Uh, now, there is one other character that's in this game, which I mentioned briefly last video. Uh, her name is Alice, and uh, I've also found the, uh, some wiki information about her. Uh, she lives also in the Forest of Magic, which is where this game takes place of, and, uh, kind of is a neighbor to, uh, Marissa. And, uh, she supposedly, uh, collects dolls, or is a doll collector, uh, likes to make character characterization dolls uh, to do puppet shows and things to that effect too.
and uh, it really doesn't make much sense as far as the uh, you know why he's tasting this uh, about this mushroom business, but it is so kind of something that's along the uh, side thing of this game of using Alice as a character. So I just thought I would kind of mention a brief thing about her. Uh, as for me, I don't really have a Tao favorite character just yet. Uh, I believe I, sh I said in a previous video that I was uh, partly liking uh, Mei Ling. Uh, but, uh, I, like I said, I don't have a definite Tao Hao character that I'm into. Uh, so, it, but that's just kind of something that I know a few of my friends do like the series, and I mean, well, they haven't played, or they have played uh, Tao Hao itself, uh, they have heard of at least some Tao Hao character at some point in time and have some sort of fan character that they liked. So I just kind of wanted to uh, t just give a little info about it and kind of share some things about it. And if you have a Tao Hao character that you particularly like, you can feel free to leave a comment. Uh, no problem there about them. Uh, but uh, basically nothing really going along. And we're on stage 18 now, so there's only two more stages left to go. So this LP will be ending rather soon. But, as I said in the last video too, if anybody has any uh, Taha requests for me to do, I can go ahead and do a little quick stint of it. Uh, I got no problem with that. Just like I said, leave some comments or you know, just let me know what what you're into. I'll go ahead. And this point, this part's a little annoying here. You have you have to hit everything just right, or she can't jump up. And now I'm so far back I can't do that thing, so I gotta really fight it. But this is another one of those parts where I was talking about the reward being on the top. Uh, if you saw like a little bit of last level, uh, there was a reward for going on the bottom compared to the top. Uh, basically the game does try to give you a hint on where some secret stuff is if you pay attention to the level design any. Uh, this part down here is intended for the uh, level 8 proportion uh, Marissa. Kind of obvious there. Since I don't have the level 8 Marissa that's the best I can do and I don't feel like trying to fight that little jump all the way in there. That's kind of a tricky jump. But uh, this this section here will kind of call the video kind of quick here. Like I said, uh, it's nearing the end and there isn't too much left. So this will be Kingy signing out for uh, let's play let's play Tao Hao Part Five. Uh, Kingy signing out. Thank you and have a good day.